Archie, I'm surprised you're up so early. Did you finish breakfast? Yep. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. I'm off to school now. Mmm, so Archie had a good night's sleep and it's time for her to get ready to go to school. Are you sure you want to go alone? The school's outside the city walls, after all. I wonder if the journey's going to be very safe. It'll... it's okay. Even if monsters attack me, I've got the sword Dad gave me. <sighs> Enough about your sword, dear, please. Remember, at Minerotsis, the most important course you'll be taking is magic, so study hard. Now, to get to school, go out the door and turn right onto 1st Street. Once you're on 1st Street, just keep going right out the gates and onto the fields. So, just go right a whole lot? That's right, just keep going right. Oh, and do you have any medicine? Oop, whoops, I forgot to pack some. <sighs> you always seem to get some new scrape or bruise when you leave the house. Take this with you this time, would you, Archie? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, no, Mom. Okay, I'll see you. All right, so it's Archie's first day of classes. I wonder if Dad has any words of encouragement to say. Off to school, Archie? I'd go with you to make sure you got there safely if they had the time. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I kind of want to try going alone today anyway. I see. You're a good, brave girl, Archie. Be careful, then. Hmm. It does feel a little haphazardous. Oh, well. Time for school. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's another little girl. There's been a lot of monsters on the way to school lately. Um... That's okay. I've got Dad's sword. We'll be good. Now let's see. Do we go here? I don't think this is the right direction. Hmm. Past here, there's a ruin called the Shrine of the Wind. You can't enter these days, though. Supposedly, an artifact with connections to the Spirit of the Winds lies enshrined within. Hmm. I don't think this is the way to school. Just how much of my life will I spend guarding this place? Really? I don't think this is the way to school. But it sure does look cool. I'll have to come back and explore later. Oh, look at the butterflies! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get back on track. I can explore over here later. For now, I have to figure out how to get to school. Oh! <laughs> Going to school means leaving town every day! This is too cool! Uh, do I have to jump over this pit to go to school? I mean, the way to my old school is a little dull, but this is a bit more dangerous than I wanted. Well, no problem. Hmm. Even if I fall, it'll just be a bit of a bump. So time to get to jumping. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Jeez, you'd think they'd build bridges for the kids at least. Oh, goodness. Oof. Made it. Oh boy! Holy cow! Slime's on the way to school! It's okay! I can take him down with my sword! Okay, Archie, remember what Dad taught you. First, draw my sword. And with my sword out, slash and parry! Hmm, I wonder if I can perform other moves with it, too. Okay. Alright, Slimes, you've disturbed the peace for the last time! Taste hot Archie justice! <laughs> That was hard. If I don't hurry, though, I'll be late for school. Ah! My ankle. It hurts. I must have sprained it in that fight. No, school's still so far off, but it hurts to stand. 
I'm going to be late on my first day. What am I going to do? Oh, hey, there's a friend. Maybe? Hey, come back. Hi. Um, hello. Who are you? Wait, the way you're holding your ankle. Can you not walk? Yeah. Uh, I was attacked by some slimes and my ankle. How terrible. Here, I'll heal you. Hold still just a second. You heal me? What do you... Ooh. Fancy! Holy crackers! It doesn't hurt at all anymore! Was that magic? Huh? Well, yes. Is your leg okay? Good as new! Thank you so much! Really? I'm glad. I have some chores to do before school, though, so I'll see you around. Hey, wait a sec! I've never seen magic before. Do you go to Minaratsis too? Uh, I do, yeah. I knew it! I'm Archie. I moved here yesterday, and I started at Minaratsis today. Oh, well, I'm Sana. Archie, want to walk to school with me? I'll show you the way. Yeah, yeah! Please do, Sana! Awesome! We have a new little friend. This is like the adventures of preschool children, or something. Yeah. Oh, look at how quick they took those things out. Sana, can you make- oh, yeah, you can make that job. <gasps> What's this? No way. How do you open it? Go this way. Oh, herb! I hope it's a healing kind of herb. Woohoo! More coinage! I think this is cool. Minaratus Magic School. Manasaratus. Whatever. Well, here we are, Archie. The Mina Minasaratus School of Magic. Wow, we're finally here! That's a long way. It took us like three hours or so. <laughs> it's was only a 20 minute walk from town to the gates to school. Alright, I guess the clock on the school proves that, huh? <laughs> anyway, huh, I was expecting a magic school to be a big place, but this place seems kind of normal, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty much like a normal school. We don't even have a lot of teachers. Oh yeah, the teachers. I wonder what kind of teacher I'll get. I hope we're in the same class, Santa. I hope so too. I have some stuff to do, Archie, so I'll see you later, okay? Okay, Santa. Thanks again. See you soon, Archie. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Miss Sophia. Now, before we begin today, we have a new transfer student joining us. A transfer student? Really? Oh, Miss Sophia, who is it? What are they like? I wonder if it's a boy or girl. I do kind of hope it's a boy. This school could really use a few more boys in it. Five coppers gets you ten, it's a tomboy! Ha, <laughs> well maybe. Quiet down, everyone. Now let me introduce her. You can come in now, Archie. Well, go on. Introduce yourself. Uh, okay. Um, nice to meet you, everyone. I'm Archie Plumfield. I'm really looking forward to learning magic here. Nice to meet you all. A girl, yay! Holy, is that a sword on her back? Does she use that for self-defense? I'm glad we're in the same class, Archie. Nice to meet you, Archie. A sword? Oh, uh, Leon, yeah. You totally owe me a silver for the record. Settle down, everyone. Hmm. Looks like we have an open seat near your column. Your column. Archie, go sit down. That'll be your spot. Okay. Look how cute the classroom is. Oh my goodness. And thus began Archie's first day at the Manasaratus Magic School. Archie's new school had all the regular subjects. History, language, mathematics. What she had never taken before, however, was a class on the application of magic. 
So, let's review. The elemental stones you currently hold were made using the methods pioneered by our school's founder, the great sage Manasaratus, roughly 300 years ago. Such stones are the source of magic and are divided into four elements, earth, wind, water, and fire. So long as an elemental stone, so long as you have an elemental stone, if all of you study hard and learn to draw on the stone's power, even children like you can learn to cast all kinds of spells based on your stone's element. Does everyone understand? Yes, Miss Sophia! Um, Miss Sophia, can you not use magic without a dental stone? Elemental stone, Archie. And if you have a question, raise your hand and wait to be called on, please. Okay. <laughs> and to answer your question, yes, without an elemental stone, you cannot use... Wait, Archie, did you not bring a stone? The requirement was in the orientation letter we sent. I, um, think there is something like that in there. Um, Miss Sophia, where do they sell elemental stones? I imagine the general goods store could order one for you, but... Elemental stones are expensive due to how difficult they are to make. The school's spares are already on loan, and even if we had any, elemental stones must be matched to their intended user to function. So the likelihood that we'd have a match is... Well, this is a problem. Hey, Miss Sophia! Yes, Colm? Ain't there supposed to be a stone in the cave in the mountain behind the school? Colm, don't be silly. Elemental stones are valuable, and you don't leave them lying around in a cave. <laughs> Colm's being a fibber again, and Miss Sophia found him out. Hey, it's not a lie. My grandpa told me that story. Archie, once you get home, talk to your parents about getting an elemental stone. Until you get the stone, you'll be watching during class, okay? Oh, I was looking forward to using magic. Well, class is over for today. Everyone, go straight home and watch out for slimes. Yes, Miss Sophia. Archie, I'm so glad we're in the same class together. Me too, Sana. Uh, but I didn't know you needed an elemental stone to use magic, period. This is awful. Do you think your parents can get you a stone? Well, we just moved, and we've never had much money anyway, so... Oh. Although, do you think the story Colm told us about the mountain is true? Uh... I don't know. I've never gone up there before, so I don't know for sure, but... Okay, I'm gonna check out that cave. Maybe I'll find an elemental stone on my own. Hey, Santa, come with me. This'll be fun. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to take care of the cluckadoodle after school. Cluckawoozles? One of the school's chickens. The school keeps a few animals, so we have to take care of them. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, Archie. Maybe next time, okay? Oh, she's so sweet. Sorry, Archie. Next time, okay? Hmm, what do the classmates have to say? Hey, if you get tired of hurting your school, just head to the nurse's office, okay? Miss Remy will let you rest there and give you some medicine. She charges for medicine, though. Good to know. Everyone has such cute hair. I love it. Hey, Archie, is that a sword? Like, a for real stabby sword? It's not a toy, right? Yeah, it's real, but it's a practice sword, so it's been blunted. Hey, does this class have fencing? Does this school have fencing classes? I want to sign up if it does. We do have self-defense courses, but we don't use big swords like that. Wait a sec, does that mean your old school had sword classes? That's awesome! Well, I guess the grass is always greener on the other side, especially to the kids. I think a school with magic class is a little more awesome. I love how everyone has their own avatar, too. That's a lot of detail. I appreciate that in this game. Chupel. I'm the youngest kid in this class. My big sister Louise is in this class, too. Oh, which girl's Louise? Hey, Colm. Hey, Colm. Was that story true? Huh? What story? The one about an elemental stone in that cave in the mountain near the school. Oh yeah, that. Of course it was. My grandpa told me that one, so it must be true. Then let's go to the cave and look for it. Come on! Nah, I don't wanna. What a pain that'd be. 
Aw, oh, come on, it'll be cool, and I don't even know where the cave is. So let's go together. Forget it, no way. If you want to get to the mountain cave, hang a ride after leaving the schoolhouse. I ain't gonna go with you, though. I don't play with girls. Well, fine then, Mr. Jerky McJerkface. I'll go on my own. This school attracts a large number of female students because they all admire the Manasaratus the Sage. It's a bit embarrassing being one of the few guys among all these girls. Oi, Leon, quit being such a wuss. Seriously. Really, I think you've got the backwards view of it, Leon. So here's some of our fellow students. Who are you? You look booky. Hachi, hello and welcome. I'm the class president. And there you have it. She doesn't even have a name. She's just the class president. If you have any questions, please feel free to come to me at any time. Okay then, I do have a question, Miss President. Oh, um, but not right now, okay? I need to read all these books before I head home for the day. Can you wait for just a bit? That's a lot of books! Hmm, what about you? Wow, this girl's really pretty. Uh, so you're the student who just transferred in. Uh, yeah, I'm Archie. Nice to meet you. I am Stella Maybrook. Well? Hmm, looks like those are the drawings of everybody's magic circles. Looks like a lot of people got perfect scores. Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't know what an elemental stone looks like. I wonder if someone will show me. Hmm, maybe Stella. I have to ask, what were you thinking coming to class without an elemental stone? Well, I didn't know. Do you have an elemental stone, Stella? Naturally. My Royal Scarlet is the highest quality elemental stone that my family's company makes, after all. Within it resides the power of Algron, you see. Oh, it's got an acorn inside it? Neat! Algorn, you know, king of the fire elementals. You really are clueless about magic, aren't you? Well, I suppose someone has to begin your education. Behold, my elemental stone. Wow, it's beautiful! It looks like a gemstone! <laughs> well, I am the daughter of the head of the Maybrook Concern. My stone simply matches my position in life, you see. Holy cowbells! Stella, your dad runs a company? And hey, your elemental stone's on your bracelet! Neat! Mm -hmm. There's a number of ways to wear an elemental stone. Jewelry is one common way. Others set them into wands, staves, or other self-defense equipment. Wow, Stella, you know a lot about all this. It's common knowledge, really. Oh yeah! Stella, I'm gonna check out the cave Cole mentioned. Wanna come with me? What an... why would I want to go tramping around in such a horrid place? Huh? You don't wanna come along? Of course not! If I went and got my clothes dirty, what would happen then? Besides, you cannot possibly be taking that idiot Colm's story seriously. He was lying, silly. It's what he does. He does? Well, even so, you never know until you look for yourself. Besides, exploring a cave sounds fun anyway. Mm, I can't keep up with all your stream of constant nonsense. Anyway, I'm busy. I'll be studying once I get home so that I can bring myself one step closer to my dream of matching the skill level of Manasa Radas herself. I don't have time to waste in caves. Go yourself if you absolutely must. Hmm. It looks like our little girl is on her own. Oh hey, there's another kidlet. And she's got cute hair too. Look at those pigtails. Hmm. I wonder if this is that sage that everybody keeps talking about. I wonder if there's anyone related to her here. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to jump on your head. Hey, you're not busy or anything, right? Come play magic rock, paper, scissors with me. Oh, sure. You know the rules for magic rock, paper, scissors, right? Uh, no. Okay, let me teach you then. So, magic rock, paper, scissors is a lot like the normal version, but instead of the usual stuff, we use magic elementals. You know, water, wind, earth, and fire. Water beats wind, earth beats water, fire beats earth, and wind beats fire. If both players put out the same element or opposing elements, it's a draw. Oh! Opposing elements are water and fire and earth and wind. If you play with just two people, there can be a bunch of draws to determine the winner sometimes. But I think that's part of the fun! It's all suspenseful and stuff, right? Oh, there's a big elemental nullification rule when you have a bunch of people, and that's fun too. 
but someone else can go over that with you when you have a bunch of people. As for the hand shapes, listen up. Assuming a, fi assuming a fist first, wind is all your fingers extended except your thumb. Water is the thumb, forefinger, and middle finger extended. Earth is just a fist, and fire is your, f is your forefinger and pinky out. Oh, and if you don't make any symbol by the time the count is up, you lose! Wow, this is a really detailed game. You could actually play this in real life, too. That would be kind of fun, because it's got like more than just rock, paper, scissors. And the rhythm for the count is whoosh, plush, thunk, sizz. That's a cute detail. Okay, let's go! Whoosh, sploosh, thunk, sizz. Hmm, what should we do? Let's go with fire! It's a die! Sizz. Um... Let's go with wind! It's another tie! Let's go with... Water! Oh, it's another tie! Let's go with... Fire again! Oh, we got blown out! Yeah, we're good. That's a cute game, though. We can play this game again. Do -do -do. What's going on up here? There's more drawings. There's some doors, too. What's in here? Oh, it's a whole other classroom. Hello, other people. When I grab, I'm gonna be just like Magic Gold Marin! Marimu, Marimu, Marara! Blackboard Eraser, become a cake! Can you really turn blackboard erasers into a cake? Because that's kind of cool. We can have like a whole feast! Let's see. Oops. I really gotta jump. stop jumping on things. The headmaster is so nice. A little while ago I was playing ball on the grounds and uh, broke a window. Miss Sophia was gonna let me have it, but the headmaster came by and saved me. Well, that's pretty cool. What about you? You've got cute pigtails too! Maybe I should get pigtails. Huh, I wish I was in Sophia's class like you. Harnell's scary! Is Harnell your teacher? The headmaster is so- oops, we talked to you, Ron. Yeah, I know you broke a window. It's not that big a deal. Uh, obviously. If you keep talking about it, though, you might get in trouble. What about you? Hi, Emil. I'm collecting the Magic Ra Ranger Alterna cards. They're super popular right now. The Fire Ranger is the coolest, though the Wind Ranger is pretty cool, too. I've never heard of them. You guys know cool stuff. Hmm. Hey, I drew the ma oops. I drew a magic circle and it was posted on the bulletin board. Isn't that cool? So that's what these must be. Hmm. Hello. You notice how the road to school is infested with monsters since it lies outside of town, right? That's why everyone comes to school with their elemental stone ready. Some kids bring small self-defense weapons too. Huh. I think yours is by far the biggest though, Archie. How do you know my name? Were you in my class? Whoa! Check out that skeleton! That's so cool! And those skills! I want to play with them. Who's this dude? Who are you, sir? Mr. Harnell. Hey there! You there! What is that thing on your back? Um, this? Uh, it's a sword. Don't you know what a sword is, mister? <laughs> That's kind of silly. A teacher who doesn't know what a sword is. That's not the problem here. Why on earth would you bring a sword to a magic school? Didn't anyone teach you that swords don't work together with magic at all? Oh uh, no, I only just transferred here, so I didn't know that. Ha, ah, you're the transfer student then. Well, listen. If you must use a weapon for self-defense, use a staff or dagger. Something small, light, or non-metallic. Large metal objects like sword greatly disrupt the flow of magic. Huh, really? Well, I wouldn't want to use anything else. I like swords. What? You prefer that to magic? <laughs> Ha, you'll find a warm welcome here, I'm sure. It's because of children like you that will never match the Magic Academy of Scotshold. Well, fine then, mister. I'm gonna go over here. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, hey, it's the teacher. Goodbye, Miss Sophia. <laughs> Goodbye, Archie. Remember to go straight home. Alright, I will. And who are you, sir? Oh, the headmaster. And this school's mission is to teach you magic the same way we teach you any other subject. Not as some grand mysterious force, but as a valuable facet of your daily lives. Magic alone is not everything, even in this school. Archie, I know you're falling behind in magic, but do your best in other areas like mathematics. Yes, Headmaster! I really hate math, though. Well, this is a really cute school. There's a lot to explore, the music's great. I guess, though, 
It's time to head to that cave. Oh, hey, there's more kids. Hey, did you know? There's a beautiful girl in this school, and that, in this school named Stella Maybrook. I met her. She didn't want to get her clothes dirty. I heard someone say the school clock is broken. I wonder when they're going to fix it. Look, look, there's a lot of ants marching in a line. You guys are like little kids. Hmm. Hello. Hey, let's play ball. Alright. I guess you guys aren't going to invite me. <sighs> Alright. Time to go to the cave. Oh, whoops. The mountain's the other way, I think. Okay, now time to go to the cave. Woohoo! Oh, this is behind the school. Ah, the chickens and the cows. This is cute. Oh, hi, Archie. And these two are Cluckadoo and Sir Cluckington. The third, of course. Sir Cluckington. Cluck, cluck. Ah, oh, neat, a goat. Santa's so cute. 